I was pregnant in uh, 99 with my son Jacob. Um, I just started working on Guiding Light. Shall I put these with the others, Miss Spencer? Yeah, I'm sure the employee restroom must look like a greenhouse by now. I had my second son in uh, 2003, and we made the decision to relocate to California while I continued to work here in New York. That was a really big decision to make, but it was also one that I felt was very easy to do. Of course, not knowing that, you know, I was going to be on a plane 12 hours a week. People say to me, isn't it hard, the commute, and isn't it hard on you and your family? I, I think to myself, I've learned so much about just being not only a better mother, but a better wife and a better person, that the quality of my life has actually improved. The hardships are just simply, at times, being lonely. There have been many teary-eyed goodbyes, especially from my littlest one. It's hard for me to hear that, certainly, and be 3,000 miles away. and. If I'm going to look at the fact that my children are at times depressed because I'm gone, if I'm going to look at the fact that they're um, having difficulty separating from me, I also have to look at the, the other side of it, which is there are weeks where I'm home all the time. I don't have to work at all, and I pick them up from take them, I pick them up from school, and you know, take them to lunch, or we do make sock puppets, or I'm there more than a lot of moms are and can be, and. That's how I look at it, that there's a wonderful balance in all of this and a wonderful trade-off. Being away from them and knowing that I'm going to go away from them again has taught me to really solve the problems immediately and move on. When I'm at home, I'm present. I'm there for them. I'm not thinking about New York. I'm not thinking about work. I tend to make the choice not to overreact to certain things. Um, to let a lot of things go and try and resolve them quickly. We don't waste our time being angry. We don't, it's not the environment I want my kids to, to live in anyway, nor my husband and I. We want to have a good life and be happy. So whenever I think, oh gosh, I don't want to go to the grocery store. I don't want to pack a bag or go back to New York for two days. If I just start to do it, I find that I get into it. I find that it happens and then it's done. I'm going to enjoy it no matter how bumpy the flight is or how delayed it is at the airport. I'm going to find something that, to read that interests me. I'm going to find, listen to some music. I'm going to do something that's going to be make it enjoyable. One decision like that can change a lot of things, a lot of beliefs that you have about yourself, um, things that you wouldn't ever expect, really. Um, and uh, you know, that's kind of it. That's where we are. We're, we're a bi-coastal family, and we love it.